It's the video seen around the world tonight. A deadly crash live streamed on Instagram by the driver. Police say this California woman was driving under the influence on Friday with her 14 year old sister when the car crashed. But I also hope that, uh, you know, people take this as a lesson before it happens to them or their loved ones. Her sister died at the scene, and the driver is now behind bars. CBS 13's Macy Jenkins is getting answers tonight on what the law says you should do if you come across a video that shows such a horrific crime. And let's face it, so many people around the globe have seen this video already. It's true. Sam and Adrian, I talked to the woman who watched the entire video on Instagram, horrified. She shared it on her page and told me she wanted everyone to see what happens when you use your phone behind the wheel. Mary Hernandez was scrolling through Instagram this weekend when she came across this video. <laughs> It shows 18 year old Abdullah Sanchez live streaming herself, driving and singing behind the wheel. Suddenly, the car rolled over and crashed into a barbed wire fence. Her 14 year old sister, Jacqueline, was ejected from the car and died on the scene. How she acted, like, you know, she didn't even care. She's so nice. She's smart her sport. Hernandez saw the video hours after the live stream and shared it on her Facebook page. I hope that people learn to not be on their phones because obviously, like, that's what they happened. But she says she didn't call the police. I don't want to get involved because, first off, I don't even know them personally. So we asked attorney Jeff Kravitz, are you obligated to report a crime you see on video or even in person? Should people report it? Well, of course. Uh, that would be good, undoubtedly. Only a handful of states, including California, have specific laws compelling a witness to come forward. That duty only applies if you see somebody who is under the age of 14 who is the victim of certain specified crimes. Like murder, rape, or other lewd acts. But Kravitz says it's never been prosecuted in the state of California. It's very difficult to criminalize actions that people take that are... Um, omissions as opposed to commissions. And if the victim is an adult, state law doesn't require you to do anything. But for the average person walking down the street, you have no duty to either report or lend assistance. Now, in this case, Kravitz does not believe that a person viewing the live stream is obligated to report it. But we did talk about people known as mandatory reporters, like people like health professionals and school officials, and they are required to report things like child abuse to the police. Well, it's, uh, as we said, a horrific thing that we just saw, and we all, not just us, I mean, we saw it all around the globe, people were viewing that. So. Right. Okay, Macy, thanks so much thanks. for that. Appreciate it.